Hi, uh, so just we uh, did in the last video is uh, essentially called uh, an explicit uh, intent. The explicit intents uh, specify exactly which activity you want to go to. Uh, we did that, right? We told that this is the exact activity that I want to go to. This is the exact activity that I'm coming from. Uh, but sometimes uh, what we uh, do is we use implicit intents. Now, implicit intents, what they do is they tell uh, what you really, what you want and they are operating system will try to satisfy uh, what you want so for example you say that i want to share a photo give me any app that can share photos or i want to dial a number give me any app that can dial a number or i want to send a message give me any app that can send a message like that that's called implicit intents so uh, take a look at how we can send implicit intents as well and uh, to do that what we'll do is um, say um, let's say we go to our activity main xml and the layout and i will just change the layout a little bit so uh, what i'm going to do is i will uh, in fact in this frame layout i will uh, make the frame layout uh, wrap content and wrap content and i will put uh, two uh, linear layouts inside my frame layout okay uh, the width of the linear layout uh, would essentially be uh, let's say wrap content and the height uh, is also wrap content for this and orientation is uh, horizontal okay so uh, i'll make two such linear layouts okay and inside these linear layouts i will add uh, an uh, edit text okay so uh, this edit text i will give it a width of uh, say uh, 200 dp okay and i will uh, give it a height of wrap content and I will follow that up with a button okay and this button has wrap content and wrap content and uh, inside this button I have say uh, a button called browse and uh, similarly I will create another one of these so let me just uh, you know put uh, these up a little bit bigger here on the right side so you see what is getting created on the screen um, I, I do something similar inside the second linear layout as well and this button I uh, call it dial okay I give it an ID, um, BTN uh, dial. I give it this an ID, um, BTN uh, browse. Okay. Um, so uh, what we're going to do is uh, this linear layout uh, below and below. I'll actually uh, put them outside inside another linear layout with uh, the orientation of vertical. Um, and I will put a layout gravity of uh, center uh, to it. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, this button I will give it a width actually. Uh, so I'll give it the layout width of uh, say 100 dp. So button looks like this. I'll give the other button also a width of 100 dp. So the buttons are of basically similar width in this case, right? Uh, if I want to give these, uh, yeah. So kind of looks okay. Okay. So uh, we write some text here and then we click on browse or we uh, write a number here and we will click on dial. That's basically the idea. Let's give some IDs to the edit text as well. So I will give this Android ID uh, ET uh, URL, uh, which is for browsing. And I will give this, uh, uh, let's say ET phone number, which I will be actually uh, dialing. So that's the idea. Okay. Now, uh, in my main activity, what I want to do is, uh, so button go red automatically becomes red because I have deleted that ID from the screen now and it does not exist anymore. So what do exist is uh, button dial and uh, button browse. Okay. So when button browse is create, uh, clicked, what I will do is val uh, URL uh, equal to, uh, I will do et URL dot uh, text dot to string. Okay. And uh, I want to basically browse this particular URL. I want to, you know, uh, go open the uh, browser with this particular URL uh, in this case. So uh, to do that, uh, what I will uh, do is I will, um, you know, create an intent. Uh, so. This time I have to create an intent in a little different way. I uh, pass uh, this action uh, in this uh, format. Uh, so I pass action uh, intent dot uh, action underscore view. So this is the way to basically browse. You pass a view action and uh, you pass uh, the URI. So we do URI dot uh, parse and we basically would be doing uh, this thing, um, the URL, okay. 
and it will pass this uh, URL. So this creates an URI. URI stands for an universal resource identifier, which is like a superset of URLs. So URLs are only for HTTP, uh, which is for browsing, but URI can also be FTP or TEL or anything uh, like that as well uh, could be URI, okay. So uh, I'll do this and uh, then I will just do start activity with uh, this particular intent. Now uh, for dialing, uh, what we would need is we'll do while uh, phone number equal to et uh, phone number dot uh, text dot two strings let me fetch this as two string then i will do is uh, val uh, intent equal to uh, i'll create another new intent here and i will do uh, with a different intent here i will do intent dot action uh, dial okay so and then action dial and here also i will pass uh, uri dot uh, parse now here I will do a, a little different thing. I will not directly write a phone number here. Instead, I will write uh, tell plus uh, the phone number. Okay. Now uh, there is a new syntax in Kotlin uh, which which makes writing like this thing easier is in this format as well. So tell and then you write uh, the variable here. So uh, essentially in uh, Kotlin, what happens is that uh, you know uh, if you want to send uh, some intent somewhere. Uh, you have to dial somebody you have to write it like this tell and uh, like plus uh, 91 you know uh, 9876533665677 somebody's number okay somebody's number anybody's number so write it like this and that's that's an uh, uri so uris can be of this format it could be of this format uh, so that's an email id uh, uri this is a http uh, uri and which is basically an url as well okay so URLs are kind of URIs, but uh, these are not URLs, but they are URI. Okay. Uh, I I if you want to uh, say send uh, somebody to an FTP server, that's gonna look like this as well. Okay. So FTP, HTTP, mail to tell different kinds of schemes exist in uh, URIs. Okay. Now to dial, we need a URI of this format. Okay. And then I will do uh, val uh, start activity uh, and pass uh, this intent here. Okay. So sorry, not val. My bad start activity and uh, pass the intent here okay so let's see if uh, the browse button the dial button essentially work or uh, they don't work and we'll also see how to handle different kinds of errors that can happen out of these cases as well okay so uh, here my app uh, there we go so if i uh, write you know http uh, google.com uh, and uh, click on browse it uh, opens Google Chrome and it opens, uh, sorry, it's the first time I'm opening uh, Google Chrome on my computer, so it's opening google.com. Uh, I have only Chrome as a browser in my uh, emulator, but uh, for example, if I had, uh, you know, uh, other browsers as well, like if I had Firefox and Samsung internet or UC browser or something like that, then it would show me multiple browsers. Now, if I try to dial a number, like, you know, uh, 9988776655, something like this, so dial and it, comes to the dial screen uh, like this okay now uh, uh, there's gonna be a lot of a uh, bunch of mistakes that can happen so for example if I don't write anything here and I click on browse uh, app will crash uh, why did the app crash so let's uh, take a look at the logcat of course right um, let me delete everything in the logcat let's uh, run our app again and uh, see why it crashes if I don't write a URL there right so I click on browse it uh, crashes because of uh, you know this place where no activity found to handle uh, this intent where the intent uh, was empty okay so start activity will fail if the intent is essentially empty so uh, you can you can handle uh, that thing here so if uh, you know uh, url dot is empty uh, right and you can create uh, an alert dialog here to handle that particular case like we had uh, seen before okay so dialog to tell user to enter and you are there's something you can go ahead and do yourself i'm not doing it not wasting time in doing that similarly with dial uh, like if i you know uh, try to uh, dial to some number you know let's see uh, we have got another thing is if i write uh, sorry uh, this is not the app this is the app so if i just write uh, google.com like this and if i try to browse then also it crashes it crashes with a different error so um, you know uh, it has this error that that google.com like this so it's gonna crash here because uh, you know 
no activity found to handle intent where the data is just google.com so the http part in front is also important so you can write like this that if url is empty you do something like that uh, else uh, if uh, you know uh, uh, url dot uh, starts with uh, http uh, then also you know uh, either a uh, prefix HTTP uh, or ask user to enter full URL okay so you can do one of these things basically uh, you know uh, if your uh, you know URL is uh, not starting with HTTP then also you get some errors around that so you can handle those uh, cases there okay so that's basically how implicit intents work. You tell the operating system that, hey, want to do this, and uh, the OS will just find out some app that can do it, okay? So uh, this we have seen how to dial a number, how to browse, there are others as well. You can find out on the, uh, you know, intents uh, documentation, and you will find out what kind of intent filters exist, and you can explore more about it. Uh, here, I will just finish the intents part here and move on with other things, okay? We will visit intents uh, during probably the course in other places as well where we have to share things and all we will somewhere or other we'll, we might encounter intents again it's an essential part of inter-app communication in android